it's getting serious there's no doubt about it, the monetary reform of Iraq has blossomed. Article, 15 trillion dinars raises controversy in the budget parliament tried to add 15 trillion dinars to the budget so they can steal IT, but Sudani stopped IT. FRINK26 The HCL is the mechanism the bad guys in Iraq are using to delay the monetary reform. They used the budget but they got caught on that. They changed the numbers. It is an RI, a reinstatement, those that insist this is an RV you're ignorant. This is not an RV, this is a reinstatement. A lot of people get confused. It's like stepping in quicksand. You see, the lifting of the zeros from the exchange rate is a little different from the lifting of the three zeros from the currency, fiat, physical. FRINK26 The direction that the monetary reform is going is in the direction to add value and introduce new lower denoms and to change the exchange rate and then to float. That's the step we're in. We're not in a step where we need to pass laws. We're not in a step where we need permission from anybody over there, over here, over there, United Nations Security Council, the Untied States Treasury, nobody. We're at the point where Neil Armstrong is just about to put that right foot on the moon. Is Chase, Wells Fargo, or any bank going to exchange your dinars into dollars? Ain't no bank going to exchange your dinars into dollars. Ain't no bank got that kind of money. Chase will introduce you to JP Morgan, JP Morgan is going to take your dinars and they're going to send them to the US Treasury. They're going to give you the equivalent of what you should receive in American dollars into your account. Question, if the rate is 3.22 and you go to the bank and exchange a 25,000 note in American dollars how much will that be 3.22 times 25,000 friend?